All right, we're now joined here on Media Monday by uh, men's basketball senior Ryan Vilmot. And um, we had a lot go on over the break uh, for you guys, trying to catch up with you. Um, bit of a bit of a up and down kind of kind of break. Um, so wins, some losses, mix in there. Um, coming off a tough loss at Southern Connecticut, but overall uh, team play was uh, was pretty good. Um, so kind of give us a little uh, overview of you know how you think the team's been rolling the past couple weeks. Um, I think we've been playing hard and starting to get a grasp of things. We could still get better over the last month, and we still. Uh, in a playoff chase, so we're just going to keep playing hard and uh, fix up some of the mistakes we make so that we can be more consistent. And talking about consistency, uh, um, I mean, yourself, I think Paul Becklins and, and Dante Gittins obviously are kind of the big three in consistency right now and leading the team in things. Uh, talk about, you know, uh, Dante and Paul, you know, what they've brought maybe as like a the guard dynamic um, between the two and then how you kind of fit into that. Yeah, I mean, uh, Paul's a pass-first point guard, but he can score when we ask him to score, and he runs the team, so <laughs> he basically uh, he has the keys to the car, so he gets uh, he basically just gets everybody involved, and Dante brings a lot of athleticism and toughness out there, and he's great on defense. He can block shots. He gets out on the open court, so they're both a big help. All right, and now uh, coming up, we've got some games moving around, and uh, <clears throat> with the snowstorm coming in, um, talk about maybe how that's going to affect your schedule coming up. Uh, you're going to have to play some games back to back potentially, and uh, you know coming down the stretch and kind of you know when things matter most. Yeah, we got a game Thursday. Well, it was moved to Thursday and Saturday, so we just got to fight through, and we got to get two wins this week and. Get back on track. Now going back to um, the freshmen, or at least some of the younger players, um, as kind of the break went on, uh, you've seen more of them get involved. They've been getting more minutes and things like that. Talk about uh, guys like you know Will Charles, uh, Jordan Lackey, and Dustin Cole, and uh, Mike McDevitt. Those are guys that are really seeing you know, more minutes than uh, you know what they're used to. Yeah. Well, they got better over the course of the season. At first, like the game pace was a little fast for them, but they picked it up, and uh, everybody's playing well, especially Lowe, Dustin, Jordan, everybody we said. Exactly. And now, uh, now uh, we've already had you on once this season. Um, you've joined us on Media Monday, and they uh, gave us the fun fact about how you weren't yet going to give up on the Philadelphia 76ers, that you're a Sixers fan. Um, but now we'll ask you to share something, you know, of uh, maybe a couple of your teammates or, or your coach, whatever you got for us, kind of put them uh, under the bus here. Yeah, well, Lo and Jordan, they're big uh, Baltimore Ravens fans, so they're not too fond of you Patriots fans. So <laughs> you guys might want to lay off on them. All right, so you heard it here first. Don't mess with Lo Charles or Jordan Lackey going forward. So uh, uh, thanks very much, Ryan, and um, we'll wish you luck the rest of the season. Thanks.